Live at the Minnesota State Fair. That's right. You heard it from the from the sheep here. Hey, the sheep farm is a great place to go at the State Fairground. Yeah, that's right. It's a great place. You heard me. You got to go visit some animals, right? In the sheep barn, you can uh, meet the farmers and the sheep who are competing this week. And we have a uh, we have a little bit of a you know a bit of a show off, a little bit of a performer. Uh, yeah, you you know what? She's quiet. No, she's quiet. Yeah. She she's makes quiet. noise when she wants to. We have Tom and Shelley, uh, Bob and Dreyer. We also have Grandpa. We have Son here. We have all generations here today. Three generations here, but you're uh, fifth, ge five generations of family farmers. We are. Yep, five generations. We live by Pipestone, Minnesota, and. Uh, yeah, we're happy to be here. <laughs> there we go. There now goes. it's go there time. Now tell us who we have here. So this is uh, 2031 is yeah. her number. We haven't got her named. <laughs> we have too many name. of them to put names on all of them. So we, How many do you have? Uh, between the two of us, we have about 100 to 120 ewes at home. Ooh, all right, tell us about all the awards that, the, that uh, good old 2031 is what? Uh, she was uh, the reserve champion Hampshire U uh, yesterday. Um, and she was first place in her class. And so that's how she got the show for champion and she was reserve yesterday. Gotcha. And some big awards in Iowa too, I understand. Yeah, she was the champion you in Iowa State Fair last weekend. Um, and then my brother also showed her in the 4-H at the Minnesota State Fair here uh, Friday this last week. So. Shelly, tell us when you look at, uh, look at a sheep like this, like what are we looking for that, that makes this particular one a champion? Um, we're looking for one that's tall, Mm -hmm. Long, straight, um, got some thickness to it for the meat, and make sure that she walks on some good feet and legs. You know, Shelly, I was surprised because I, I didn't know if you were looking for something here in the wool. This is really, really soft, softer than I would have thought. Yeah, it's very soft, and we like to they'd spend hours, these guys, trimming and preparing her for show. And so all of these little marks you see in her now are people that go through and do this, but that's not, when we're showing, we want her nice and smooth. Nice, yes, don't dig your fingers in there. You're messing it up for the that's show, right? right? Mm -hmm. yep. uh, talk about the pride of just seeing multiple generations kind of continuing this tradition out here. Maybe ask, Dad, what's, what's your name? Chuck. Chuck. Chuck, tell me about, I mean, what does it mean to you to see like your grandson and the whole well, family it's, it's, out here? It's uh, very unique. My grandfather showed here at the State Fair in 1915 was the first year. 1915, and wow. The Bob and Dreyer name has been continuous at every fair that's been held since then. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I yeah. showed my first one here in my name in 1954. I was 11 years old. Cool. Well, congratulations to your family. We love seeing this tradition continue. This is really what it's about, families, farming, getting the chance to show off your animals. Yeah. So congratulations to all of you. Thanks for being here, and thanks 2031. 2031. For a concert here. Man, if only it were that easy to name our kids, we could just give them a number. It'd be a lot easier. Sometimes I do. Right? Sometimes you have 100 kids? I, do. I, I, I mean... Oh, no. Moving on. Don't. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I not Talk to my lawyer. Yeah. Talk to my lawyer about that question. <laughs>